The ultimate goal of any singer is to be able to lose yourself in song. Just let your heart and soul take over. Therefore, anything that would distract you from that, anything that would preoccupy your mind, keep you conscious, that deserves to be addressed when you're vocalizing. That's really the definition of vocalizing, is working on those kinks so that you can be more mindless when you sing. What I find is that a lot of singers don't address time, and therefore they, we sweat pitch a lot, we look for tone sometimes, people worry about projection, but we don't often address time, and that ends up haunting us in performance, either on stage or in the studio. So here's a suggestion I have, it's very simple. Get yourself any kind of metronome or simple drum pattern. You could use a smartphone app, you can get a regular metronome or a simple drum machine. But just get a very simple pattern established, something like this. It's just a 4-4 four, four time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what I think you should do is just hold a single note for the full length of one measure. Ah, uh, uh, right to the end of that beat. Uh, uh. Now, what I want you to watch out for is the starts and stops. Number one, you want to make sure that you're not uh, shocking into it, and I want to make sure you're not using your throat larynx, your tongue, or your mouth to stop the note. It's really typical to go, ah, uh, and to kind of crush it down here. That means your air still wants to flow, but you're literally stopping it with your larynx. You can also stop it with your tongue, huh, or stop it with your mouth, huh. People have a tendency of singing a riff or a line until they are running out of air, and that leaves everything kind of ragged. It makes the listener feel like you're not totally in control of the message. So when you do this, just keep it really simple. And when you get good at it, then you can ad lib over the drum beat, but just make sure that you always keep it very defined, meaning you're always going to end on the one of the next measure. When that gets easier, then of course you can set new targets up. But making sure you end at a certain point really sends a lot of reflex of information down to your body, very healthy information. And it's kind of the difference between musicians and singers. Musicians have to deal with this stuff very early in their training. So no kid is allowed to play. They're not allowed to play anything as randomly uh, sequenced as that. So then the metronome comes out. Including the duration of the last note. Uh, that's got a defined duration. And that really helps them. It really sets musicians free. So when it comes time for performing or recording, all they have to uh, concentrate on or feel out is the feel, is the groove. They're not thinking about things like duration or entrances coming in on time. So if we take that drum beat again, just really quick. Here's the beat. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come right in on that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, any of those will do. Be as inventive as you want, but just make sure you hold yourself to a very defined time. Check it out.